in this video I'll show you how to print on 4x6 using your Epson EcoTank printer. Does not matter the model, what I'll show you next applies to every single EcoTank model. So let's get started right away. First you need to go on the screen that is on your printer. If you do not have any screen on your Epson EcoTank, I know that some models have a some buttons on the top but nothing here, then you can skip the step I'll show you next. So if you have a screen, you need to navigate until you see settings, then press OK. Then navigate using the right side arrow until you see printer setup. Press OK. Once you see paper source setting, press OK. And once you see paper setting, press OK again. Now we have to modify the paper size and the paper type. So once you see paper size, press OK. And from this list, you need to select 4x6, which is here. Press OK to confirm. And then we need to select the paper type. So press the right side arrow once. Press OK. And from here, depending on what kind of paper type, you're going to select it. If you have glossy type of paper, simply select glossy. If you have semi-gloss, there's this option as well. And if you have matte paper, simply select premium matte mate whatever how you pronounce it all right i'll select glossy because this is on what i want to print perfect now press the home button we're done over here we need to insert the paper inside of the printer on the back of the printer this is where the uh, paper feeder is open this flap and you're gonna see there are two blue guides over here pull them aside take your four by six uh, paper and place it with the glossy part. This is the glossy part facing you. So this is the front of the printer. I don't know if you see. This is where the screen is with the buttons. And this is the glossy part. Just let it sit right in the middle here and then bring these guides on each side of the paper like that. Uh, these guides should hog the paper. It should not press on it like that, you see? the paper should not bend. Just keep them there. This is so that the paper does not come crooked. Close this flap. On the screen of your printer you may have this message appearing or may not have it. We have already selected those settings so you just have to press confirm. Now take your phone or computer if you're printing from there. I'll show you how to do it with the computer in just a few seconds. On your phone you need to download the Epson Smart Panel app. If you don't if your printer is not yet connected to your smartphone, I have made a separate video showing you exactly how to do it. So go check my older videos, it will be there. So this is what's uh, going to happen when you open the app. Press the print button. From here, select print photos. Select the picture you want to print from your smartphone. This is the picture I want to print. Now what you can do using two fingers is to rearrange the crop. Okay, so let's say I want to print only this part of the picture or do I want all the or do I want the whole thing? You can adjust like this and then press where it says here A4 210 297 millimeters. Press on this and you'll have all the other settings that you can adjust. Under printer, make sure that this is your model that is selected. Under paper size, make sure that 4x6 is selected, like that. Media type, make sure that you have selected the right media type. Mine is photo paper glossy, I'll leave it like this. Then you have to select if you want borders. I do not want borders, so I'll click here and select borderless. Print quality, there is two different print qualities that you can select. Standard will print faster, but with a bit less quality. High will take a lot of time, sometimes two or three times uh, longer than standard, but you'll have the maximum details and the best colors. It's up to you to select the one that fits your requirements. I found standard to be great. And if you're in a rush and you need to print a hundred pictures, I think this is the way to go. Not many people will notice the difference. Then you have paper source, leave it to automatic. Color is if you want to print in black and white or color, I will just leave it to color. 
print date, the app will put a, the print date on the bottom of the picture. It's up to you if you want this feature. I do not like it, so I'll leave it off. And the rest, autocorrect and sharpness, leave them off. This is just the app trying to adjust settings of your picture to make it look better. But sometimes it doesn't look better, so just leave them off. Then press done. And when you're ready, simply press print and you're good to go. If you want to do the same exact thing from your computer, Mac or PC, it's also possible. First thing, you need to connect your computer, Mac or Windows to the printer. And I have another video on my channel showing you exactly how to do this. So go check it out. And once both are connected, you're going to open the picture you want to print. Then from here, you're going to come, you're going to press Command P if you're on Mac. So I'll just show you. Command keep, command, keep command press and then just once P. So you have this dialog appearing. On Windows, if I remember, I think it's Control P or there's maybe another button here, P, or to launch the print dialog. And once you have here on top under printer, make sure that the, your Epson printer is selected. Then we need to go right over here where it says paper size, select it, and we need to we need to go and select four by six. I'll select borderless. Then over here we have preview, and you see the computer has automatically adjusted the picture to a four by six format because the picture itself wasn't four by six to start with. If you do not like what the computer did. You have uh, multiple options. You can select scale here. And this is 30%. Let's put 20%. Now you see the picture is not rotated in this example. So I'll just press on landscape on top here. And it will turn the picture around. And now you can play, let's say, you want 40%. Or you want 50%, a bit more zoomed in. It's up to you. You can play with the scale here until you have a nice result. Then if you click on this menu here, select media and quality. Under media type, select which kind of paper you're printing on. In my case, it's photo glossy paper. And select best. Then the other options, you're not obligated to go over them. Then the other options, you don't have to go over them. Once you're done, simply press print and you are done. So I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.